they bought one million Legos. That's a lot of Legos. We have six artists, and whoever makes the best art using Legos wins. But there's a twist. Whatever you build out of Legos, I'll pay for. <gasps> yeah! Oh, wow! You will have five hours. There can only be one winner. Go! And to make things a little more interesting, I had a question for the artists. Jake, who do you think is gonna win? Ben, my reasoning is Ben has the most experience with Legos. If Ben wins, I'll give you $100. Okay, sounds good. Ben, who do you think is gonna win? Me. I'm gonna bet on David. I'm gonna try really hard. Yeah. David, who do you think is gonna win? I think I'm gonna win, Zachary. I think Bean is gonna win. I think the birthday boy is gonna pull it off today. Jake? Yeah. In our last Lego art video, everyone made pretty good pieces. But this time around, my expectations are even higher. There is a lot more on the line, and I can't wait to see what the artists come up with. Nobody voted for me, so I do not feel super confident. I won the last Lego Art video, so I'm feeling pretty confident going into this video, so hopefully I win. For their first mini challenge, I had a question for Michelle. Michelle, pick a color. Red. You guys have one minute to get as many red pieces as possible. Go! How are you guys doing? So good, so good. All right, you guys have 15 seconds. There's gonna be an advantage and there's also a losing punishment. Three, two, one. Stop what you're doing. Let me take a look at your pile. Jake has 73. Ben has 63. David, you said you have 74? 77, it's an angel number. 77? It means that I'm on the right track, Zachary. Michelle also has 63. Mackenzie, how many do you have? 71. 71 for Mackenzie. 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96. Oh, wow. Vinny is the winner with 96 red Legos. Got big, ugly mitts. Wait, you got 64? Yeah. Ben, you beat Michelle by one Lego. Thank God I recounted. Since you have the lowest amount of red Legos, you have to drive all the way to the Lego store and pick up some Lego sets I need. It's gonna be over an hour of driving. But I'll let you pick out some Legos. I don't think I have a chance of winning. <laughs> David, please do I'm gonna that. win to get you money, I promise. Please. I'm gonna try so hard. This is probably one of the worst punishments. I'm losing 40% of the challenge. And until I suck at driving. How is the closest Lego store 40 minutes away? So your advantage is actually really, really big. You get to eliminate one piece type from any artist. For example, if you cho choose a two by two brick, they can no longer use any of these. Or you can choose a four by two and they can no longer use any of them. Whether it's green, whether it's blue, they can't use any of this brick type. Pretty much who wants to be my enemy this video? Why don't you go take a look? I don't think I'll pick on the birthday boy today. It's his birthday. Day. Can't pick on you, we're Team Denny today. Well, Michelle's in the clear. And then there's Ben. But we've always been friends. It's either Ben no, it's or not. Ken. It's just Ken. Vinny couldn't decide who to punish, so he decided to make them play rock, paper, scissors for it. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. No. Oh, good. Yes. Heck. Can't use the three by twos. Thanks, Vinny. Ben fans, get them. And even though Michelle's punishment was super rough, she still tried to think positive in this situation. Maybe once I get to a Lego store, I might find some inspiration and I might figure out what to do. I'm going to skip out on some challenges while I'm gone. But the bad thing is, because I am not there, there's a chance that they might target me. Jake, so, so what are you working on? I'm going to try to do an airplane and I'm probably going to fail very bad. You know I'm not buying you an airplane, right? No, 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 just a travel. I'll get you a plane ticket though. Yeah, it signifies okay, traveling. Okay. I am building a Disneyland castle to represent a trip back home. I have family that live in Scotland and they train ponies, so I want a trip to Scotland to see them. And I'm gonna make a pony. I'm building a train because I really, really want to go on one of those fancy cool train rides in Europe. I need a new computer, Zach. Hey everyone, a moment of silence for Michelle. I want to make something similar to this. See if I can find anything. I kind of like this. And now, only another hour for Michelle's drive back. If you guys are wondering what this is, basically for my castle, instead of just wasting like all the gray bricks, since it's gonna be mainly gray, I'm just using a bunch of like colored bricks just to get like a strong base sound, and then I'm gonna like build on top of it. You're not, dude, Bruh. you're not allowed to do that. I'm grabbing pieces. Dude. You're grabbing from my side. These aren't yours. These are all mine. These are for everyone. They're in front of me. These are for everyone, Chase. I don't know what I'm doing yet. What if I need all the paint? You're not gonna need the paint. And now, it was time for the next mini challenge. All right, so I have a plan for a mini challenge. I built this random thing, and whoever replicates this first wins a huge advantage. All right, everyone come up over here. So there's gonna be a losing punishment, and somebody's gonna get a very big advantage. Under here is a Lego sculpture, and you have to replicate it exactly. Also, if you show me a Lego sculpture, and you say you're done, but there's actually something wrong with it, you automatically lose. Go. It's very random, but it's not the easiest to replicate. Wait, there's no way, Zachary. 
Ben, get yeah, out of my way. Dark. What's up? I don't like this. Where's that pea? Where is that pea? It needs to be the right colors too. Ben, why do you have a what tan one instead of the pink one? That is pink. It's just color. Uh, oh my god. god. What? Oh Wait. my god. I and after what seemed like forever, Ben finished first. All right, Ben, you're done. Let's go. Quick question. Do you recognize this? Oh my god, that's huge. Yeah, that's my old piece. So Ben, this is yours. This is exactly what I needed. This is like perfect for the castle. I was literally just building the exact same thing over there. You actually have a huge head start now that you have oh. someone's old piece. All right, guys, keep going. Make sure you guys get it. I'm so confused, Zach. I can't do that. They're all about the same. What is happening here? What am I missing? All right, Mackenzie, let me take a look. You're good. All right, let me take a look, Vinny. You're good. David, I think you're done. Oh my god. Jake, that means you lose. I'm falling apart. That means the birthday boy has lost. Jake, for this punishment, you need to help everyone for five minutes. Everyone, you have disadvantage for five minutes. No. Including Michelle. Yeah, now I'll go ahead. I need a good old ship there. Go ahead and give me a nice refresher. Like, like have them come all go. the grays, all the grays. Give me all the grays. Grabbing all the grays. Jake, Ben's finally gonna finish your Lego piece. I feel great right now. This was such a big advantage, and like my castle's in a pretty good position right now, so I have a lot of time. Okay, this is actually really hard, but I'm working on the base of my like pony, and it just looks like a brick. So I'm attempting to build a train right now, but it's not working. The Legos are uneven, and if the Legos are uneven, then you can't build on top of them, and then everything just goes really bad. Like so I have to restart, and now I have Jake's help. Five minutes. Wait, there's just bricks dropping everywhere. Oh. Before the contestants continued working, I decided to give them a choice. They're gonna want to make the right choice on this one. Guys, I want you to pick up either a red brick or a blue brick. And this is very important because one of the bricks is one push up, another one of the bricks is 100 push ups. Ben, you grab blue. I did grab blue. Jake, you grab blue. David, you grabbed red. Mackenzie, Hold it up, red. Oh, oh two God. blue, three red. You know what, Mackenzie, I'll let you choose. Do you want whatever's in my right hand to be the 100 or the one push up? The 100. Okay, Mackenzie, you chose. <laughs> so whoever has this color has 100 push ups. <laughs> All right, Mackenzie, well, you chose 100 push ups. Jake, Ben, you each have one push up. No, Jake has more than that because he's helping me for five minutes. Jake, go do my push ups for me, please. No, that doesn't count. Yeah, it does. Go for the push ups, everyone. So how do you feel after you ruined everyone's day? Honestly. It's very on character for me. Jake, Ben, you each have one push-up. This is gonna be super hard. I'm gonna be so sore. Oh. Zach, do you wanna count to five and we'll go down? Five, four, three, two, one. All right, that's one push-up. You guys are done. Oh God, that was, that was so, so hard. hard. Oh. David, Mackenzie, Vinny, you have 100 push-ups. What the heck? Have fun. Will you do 20 for me, please? You're gonna have to trade me something. <laughs> All right, Ben, how's it going? Basically, I'm Ooh. adding a bunch of details and textures, so I'm mixing in different color grays, uh -huh. and I'm like taking them out. One, I'll help two. you. But Mackenzie's push-ups has improved so much. Crafts videos actually do make you stronger. Wait, Vinny, so you're trying to make Mackenzie a deal where you do her push-ups and she makes you a piece? Boom. 45 minutes? Yeah, that's how long it'll take. All right, so the deal is, if he does the push-ups for you, you have to help him for 45 minutes. Deal. At least David's not Michelle. Michelle's still at the Lego store right now. Or maybe she's just busy getting food. I got my Legos, I got my snack. Oh, I feel like I spent so much time in the store. I feel really bad for Michelle and I'm so glad it's not me because I was literally two Lego pieces away. Jake, how do you feel that Michelle's gone? Good riddance, I mean, geez, she's always causing problems around here. While the artist continued to work, I created mystery cards to put around set. Right now I have three mystery cards that I'm gonna put around the set to see if anyone chooses them. If they touch it, they get it. Uh, all right, let's see who finds it. Oh no, not one of these. I'm assuming Zach put that there because he wants someone to t take it off. It takes it. One immunity pass. Yeah! Woo! Wait, Ben, there's more. No! Try that. If it's more workouts, I'm so done. Three, two, one. Oh! Wait, mine's good. <laughs> 200 push-ups? I got one point during right. judging. David, so for this punishment, you have 100 and you get to give someone else 100. And then Bing gets 100. I've been watching our videos for a while. You guys know whenever David bets on someone, they lose. David, Ben is proposing he'll break the curse for you today. You can bet on him. If he wins, I'll give you 100 bucks. His looks the best. Yeah. I'm betting on Ben, I'm betting on Ben. I want David to bet on me so I can break his curse. Hey Jake, how's everything going so Horrible. far? Horrible. Wait, what are you making again? Penguin. Why are you making a penguin? I thought a plane would be too hard and now I'm realizing that penguin is definitely harder. This is a 
uh, New Zealand penguin. So it represents a trip to New Zealand. So you're gonna have a lot of blues and yellows? Lots of blues, yellows, and grays, and then like accents of pink and like maybe white. All right, Michelle, still at the Lego store. There's only three hours and 30 minutes left of the challenge. I think I should get back. I'll charge the car later. Are you restarting? Yeah, so now I'm doing one of the iconic telephone boots that you find in Europe. I'm gonna be honest though, I'm not sure if you'll win with the telephone boot. Wait, but I'm gonna put like flowers around it and make it really aesthetic. Oh, Mackenzie, this looks awesome. Great, because I like your it's piece not so far. even mine. Oh, you're making it for Vinny? That's my keyboard. Are you still making a train? Yeah, this is my train. That's all you have? Yeah. Vinny, it looks like you have quite a bit done so far. Yeah, we're getting there. I'm really struggling with this Apple logo. Oh, that does look tough. Yeah, not. it's not good. Well, no matter what happens, you, you still have more done than Michelle. And even though everyone was focused on their pieces, I thought it would be nice to have everyone sing happy birthday to Jake since it's his birthday. It's Jake's birthday. Happy birthday to you. Oh, happy birthday to you. Jake is 24 years old. Don't expose me like that. And even though it's his birthday, unfortunately, Jake continued to struggle with his piece. Clearly, the uh, penguin's not really working out for me, so I'm gonna wait for Michelle to get back. I got the good, I got the Lego. Let's go. The good news is, is I came back and everyone hasn't gotten anything done yet. I'm gonna work on this piece. I'm not gonna copy it, don't worry. I'm just gonna use some of the pieces. And I really wanna go to Korea, so this is my inspiration. Michelle, you're back. I'm finally back. And guess what? what? I came back and Ben used my piece. Your piece? Yeah, I created this green base right here and he used it. He probably thought it was laying around and nobody was using it. Well, of course nobody was using it because I was gone. So I got a little bit of everything for everyone. I got some cute flowers and cute little like hearts for everyone. See, look how cute. Heart. Oh yeah, there are little hearts. I got this box, so there's a lot of black pieces now. And I got this for you. You can control the car from your phone. Oh, whoa. Yeah. Thank you, Michelle. You're welcome. All right, Vinny, it looks like you have quite a bit done. That's the front, and I'm working on the screen there. Oh, that's cool. All right, David, how's it going? It's going really good. I think my telephone booth is looking really cute. I hope it's going good. How much money did you spend at the Lego store? $700. My accountant is not going to be happy with that. Going good. I'm going to take a bunch of like these one by ones and like make like accent it. Oh, like that's going to be nice. Jake, is that all you have? Well, I wanted to do a bonsai tree. Tree. I thought seems. you were doing a plane. To be fair, I didn't even try. I thought you were doing a penguin. I decided that that was even harder than a plane. Well, if you do officially quit and want to take yourself out of the challenge, I'll add you to a random person's team. Does okay. that sound fun? Yeah. For the next advantage, you were just going to win this ball to throw at someone's piece, but now that Jake has quit, you're also going to get Jake on your team. Do you guys see this piece? It's somewhere in that pile. First person to fight and gets the advantage. Oh I didn't take anything! What? What? Oh, Michelle found it! Ah! All right, Michelle, you get to throw this Lego thing at anyone's piece. And you get Jake for the rest of the challenge. Yeah! Jake, if Michelle wins, you get 500 bucks. Yeah! Let's do this! Okay, I know you voted for Ben, but I gotta throw this up there. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> you missed all of it. You weren't even close. Michelle was secretly on my team. Half five. <laughs> you weren't even close, Michelle. I tried my hardest, but you know I have bad names. That was supposed to be the most dramatic portion of the video, and she yeah. missed. I need you to help me figure out how to build this. I just quit because I don't know how to build Legos. Jake, since you're on Michelle's team, Michelle technically gets your immunity pass. Since you guys are a team now, you guys will get punished together. Everyone that is still in the competition, I lined up four of our plushies from ZHCstore.com and I need you to stand behind one of them. All right, so each of them has something under them. For Space Turkey, oh. it's nothing. Woo! Oh. I can't tell if that's a good thing or a bad thing. For Vinny, one plush from ZHCstore.com. Oh I want that one. And if you guys want the plushies too, they're really cute, they're really Soft, you can get them at zhcstore.com. Next up, we have turkey, which nobody chose to stand in front of. It was the only advantage we had. No! Oh, take, God. take away one random color from someone. I guess nobody stood in front of it. 300 jumping jacks. Oh, oh my. Have fun. 
<laughs> did you guys see 100 push-ups earlier? I did 160. Yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, that looks cool so far. The, cool, right? the, the only thing that doesn't quite look clean is probably the camera. Mackenzie, how's your train coming? Oh, it's going. Oh, the Joker's inside. Yeah. Oh, look at how cute it okay. is. Okay. Isn't okay. it cute? Whoa, very pretty, Michelle. Thank you. Ben, how's your piece coming along? Look at it. Very pretty. We're gonna do something for the flag. There's actually a piece in here. There's a flagpole. Oh, nice. And then I can build on top of it. All right, looks promising. Hey, Vinny, you can see if this works. You can like put this stud. I'll be very, very gentle with it, but... My man. Looks nice, right? That looks great. Mackenzie, now that Jake's out of the competition, I think you officially have the least amount done out of everybody. Yeah, I'm not really good at this whole Lego thing. All right, everyone, follow me over there. We have another mini challenge. On this table are a ton of minifigures. And you guys might notice that some of them have faces on it. Oh, oh, so, you. so if your minifigure gets hit, you have to participate in what we're doing next, which is bad. It's bad. Each of you guys get three blocks. Who's going first? Me. God damn. Oh. Ben. Oh. oh my god. No. Oh my god. No. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. I forgot if we were friends. I forgot if we were friends or enemies. Well, Michelle, looks like you're participating in what's happening next. Michelle, but luckily for you, you still have a chance. Oh, oh. oh you almost got Here it. Here you go, Jake. You can throw one. Oh. oh. Raise twice. Oh. <laughs> All right, well, Michelle, you're the only one getting punished. Everyone else, you can go back to work. Michelle, you have 100 of something on this exercise ball. 100? You have bicycle crunches, which are easy. You have side planks, it's just 100 seconds. Okay. You have burpees, you have mountain climbers, high knees. Oh, please. Please, please, side plank. Please, please, side what plank. What is it? Please, please, side plank. What is it? What is it? Mountain climbers, oh. that's easy. Okay, okay, I can do that. I can do that. I can do that. Can I do the mountain climbers for Michelle? Yeah. We only have 30 minutes left, and I'm so glad Jake offered to do the mountain climbers for me because I really need to use this time to work on the piece. Everyone continued working, and as soon as Jake finished Michelle's punishment, he decided to bring back an old tradition. I challenged five people to make art out of Legos. There's 27 minutes left. Let's go check out and see what they're working on. Wow, Macma? Yeah, what do you think? Looks pretty nice. Ooh, okay. Moving on. Yeah. Wow, that looks pretty good. I know, right? Isn't it giving your app? Except that I believe Michelle wanted to use those ones. No, she didn't. She got the those for me. The leaves, the flowers. No, she got those for me. Wow, Michelle! Yeah. That looks insane. Thank you. Whoa! I think he likes it. This is crazy, Ben. Artist, you have 22 minutes left. Wrap it up. Oh. Let's go. This looks pretty sick. Great, great Thank you. If I lose, it's all your fault. <laughs> Little do the artists know, the loser of the next mini challenge is gonna have their piece dropped from 50 feet in the air. Are you serious? <laughs> no. Everyone, we have just under five minutes left Please. for the final challenge. We're gonna do what we did at the beginning. Pick up a red brick or a blue brick. Michelle, I will let you choose. So if this brick matches your color, your time is up. Okay, choose, love Michelle, it. my right hand or ah, left hand? Billy, put this on, right hand. All right, it is. <laughs> The blue brick. Oh. Who grabbed the blue brick? You're done. Michelle, you can put that together, but you're done. Ben, you're done. All right, David and Mackenzie, you two have three minutes left. Mackenzie, how are you going to use your final minutes? I'm making a jail for Batman. Wait, that actually looks really cool. David, what are you going to use your final three minutes I'm on? adding leaves, and I'm having Vinny help me look for leaves. Hey, Jake! I will win for Michelle! All right, everyone, at the finishing touches. Five, four, three, two, one! And that concludes the Lego challenge. And now let's move on to the presentation. All right, Ben, tell me about your piece. This is my Disneyland castle that represents a trip back home to California. My videographer bet on Ben. So far, he hasn't won a single bet. Don't forget, David, if you win this bet, you get a hundred bucks. Let's go. Ben, you do have an extremely, extremely impressive piece. I love the color scheme. I wish you covered the green a little bit more because when I go to the side, I see the green. Well, you're only supposed weird. to look at it from the front. I mean, I like all the little details and I love the flag. I think. Overall, you did an amazing job. I mean, even the structures down here are amazing. Very nice, Ben. Ben, one of your best pieces. 
I did a building. I searched up Korean building. This kind of looks Japanese, so I don't know. I'm okay with either a trip to Japan or Korea. Okay, and I know Michelle really wants to go hang out with some of the K-pop people we worked with, so we can go to Korea to visit everyone. I think the building's quite nice. I'm not really sure what these things are. I'm a little confused by them. I don't know, it's just a platform so you can see it better. All right, very nice, Michelle. David, I see you built a phone booth. I will go online if you win and get you a phone booth. No, phone booth. that is not what this means. That is not what this means. So wait, this, wait, David, no. is this not a phone booth? It is, Zachary, but it's a representation of Europe and me going to find my European husband. Love it you. is a European phone booth representing Europe, and I'm going to get a husband. All right, well, David, I really like the little flowers you did everywhere. I mean, the overall structure ended up looking better than I thought. I know, it's iconic. Oh, is that the phone booth? It tells a story. Ground? It tells a story. You were on the phone, and then you got upset, and then you ran away and left the phone there. Very nice, David. Good job. So this is my train, and the joke I thought trains were like, kind of long. Well, this train broke off from the rest of it. I want to go on the Oriental Express, and number two, uh, if I ever go to jail, I want you to bail me out. An interesting train? I don't know why there's a Batman with no legs in jail. <laughs> Also, there, there's no bar, so he can just walk out. The Joker cut I, I mean, his he can like crawl off. out. <laughs> Depending on how much it is, I'll give you an IRL get out of jail free. Oh All right, God, very me, nice, I Mackenzie. Can... All right, Vinny, I see you build something a little more straightforward. Yeah. <laughs> so you said if we build it, you'd buy it. So I need a new Mac because mine, I don't know why, it's just running really slow and it's buggy. Well, that's pretty straightforward. Well, I really like the keyboard. This mouse actually feels quite nice. It's, it's quite ergonomic. If you win this challenge, since you built a Mac, I'll get you a Mac. All right, and you have to customize it. You shook on it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Very nice, Vinny. Here's our consolation round. <laughs> Behold. It's beautiful. It's a functional piece. All right, Jake, if you win, I'll get you a Hot Wheel. Jake, before we start judging, you automatically get sixth place. Things are about to get interesting now. We have a total of four judges. Two of them are actually Lego influencers. One of them is me, and the final one is a random subscriber. Here's how this is gonna work. All of them are gonna rank your pieces out of five. And whoever has the most points wins. Mackenzie, you automatically have an additional point. Yes, what? I do. All right, I'm gonna go around and give scores. Vinny, I'm gonna give your piece 4.5 out of five. Mackenzie, I'm gonna give yours a three out of five. Technically, you're at a four now. David, I will give yours a 4.5 out of five. I'll give it a four out of five. I will give this a five out of five. Let's go! Now, we have the vote from the random subscriber. So Vinny, from the random subscriber, you get a three out of five. Mackenzie, 2.5 out of five. David, five out of five. Ooh! Look at that! Michelle, 3.5 out of 5. Ben, 4 out of 5. David, you are officially in the lead. Oh my god, I'm going to your app. And now we have our two Lego influencers. They do this for a living, so they know their Lego very well. So for the first judge, we have my friend Brick Science. The Mac, 5 out of 5. Hey! For yours, a 2. David, 4. Michelle, 3. No! Ben. Three. These are real Lego influencers, and we have one more that's judging. The final judge is Sacred Bricks. In fifth place, with a score of 10.5, Mackenzie! Yeah. Woo. And with a score of 13.5, fourth place, Michelle! Coming in third, with a score of 16, Ben! Okay, so all of you guys have been commenting that David's been cursed. Every time he bets on someone, they lose. David is zero for 10. Guys, comment if you guys want me to let David bet again. So far, you guys have been saying he's cursed and I think it's held up. Second place with a score of 16.5. Oh. Vinny! Oh. David! Oh. You got a score of 18.5 total. Oh. Congratulations, you're getting a phone booth. No, I'm not. David, I'm getting you a trip to Europe. Yeah. Now, let's send David to Paris. Okay guys, I just ordered my Uber and now time to go to Paris. I am literally freaking out. I think it's safe to say, David really enjoyed his time there. Ah! 